Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 11. So I actually woke up to a little message on my health portal. That is how I make my doctor's appointments. I go through there and I request an appointment and they get back to me. And since today is Monday, they got back to me super early in the morning. So I'm so glad about that. I now officially have like a true scheduled appointment. I have a time, a date for my leg because it is worrisome. I got a lot of messages of people worrying about that, so. I appreciate your guys' kindness, but speaking of kindness, the opposite of kindness, y'all went ham on me eating some salad yesterday. Like, I am like crazy shook about it, but that's okay. I was actually kind of upset, as you can tell. It looks like I've been, you know, a little bit upset because I kind of am. Becky said it perfectly. She said if I would have ordered a large pizza, I would have gotten the same amount of hate, which is totally true. So it's kind of like no matter what I do, damned if I do, damned if I don't type situation and I'm just gonna move forward with that and it's good, it's good. But today's probably gonna be another low-key day. I'm actually about to go make me some, I don't know what we can call it. We can just call it dinner. I don't know why I just pulled my blanket. I don't know, I just love holding on to it. But although this is my first meal, I still call it dinner because it's like dinner food since my sleeping's kind of off. I woke up later than usual um, today because the last few days I haven't been getting much sleep and I kind of caught on cut caught up on sleep so I noticed I think I feel better when I sleep less like three hours versus like nine So my dinner is done. We just have a turkey burger, one bell pepper, a small onion, and some sweet potato. For the sweet potato, I cooked it in my air fryer. I mean, it's actually mine and Becky's, but oh my gosh. Mm. My battery on this camera dies more than anything I've ever noticed. So I'm so glad I got two of them. So I'm gonna be adding some sriracha because you guys know I like spice. So I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk to you guys. I know there's jokes that I keep doing mukbangs, but what's the issue with it? <laughs> Thumbnail. Mm. Oh my God, I love turkey burgers. Mm. And that is cooked perfectly. To some people it might not, but I adore, adore. Super cooked meat. And the reason why like mukbangs have been just like so easy for me is because I want to share with you guys like some of the things I've been eating and vlogmas is rough for a girl like me. <laughs> I never know what to vlog or talk about. So. Mm. This is so good. And if you're curious about calories, I'll get to that in a minute. The minute is here. Because <laughs> a lot of people have been confronting my plate with calories. So I try to share the calories with you guys. The turkey burger was 240. 
The sweet potatoes were pre-packaged, so it had the calories on the package, which was 130 for all of them. The bell pepper was 20, and the onion was about 30, so 420 calories for all of this goodness, which is a lot of food. Of course, I'm gonna get a knife. You know what? I'm gonna use a good old butter knife. So, um, of course I could eat so much more than this, but I'm really trying. People are trying to kind of take away from that. I'm sorry, the lighting keeps changing. So I do apologize. Mm, sriracha has a kick to it, but I like it. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> so... I see a lot of people tell me in the comments, I don't want to see mukbangs. I don't want to see you eat. But I'm over here getting mostly views on my mukbangs. And I make sure to title my video mukbang if I'm eating in it. Um... I do that so if you really don't want to see me eat, you don't have to click on the video. I don't know, in my head it makes sense, but... Like if a YouTuber I'm subscribed to uploads something and the title says, you know, get ready with me makeup edition or whatever I won't click it because I don't really care to watch those um if you don't like watching something don't watch it I'm not trying to be mean but if people didn't want to watch it I wouldn't get as many views on it I mean I don't care if the views are from haters or supporters I hate how the light keeps changing I'm so sorry I don't care about that because no matter what I'm gonna have haters watch me it's just how life is and I'm always going to love and care and cherish about the people who actually support me Like, if I'm, if I start uploading videos about get ready with me videos, that's just the best example I can do. If I start uploading those, and I notice they aren't getting as many views, I'm probably going to stop. Because, obviously, my audience doesn't want to see that. This meal is so good. Ooh. And took no more than 15 minutes to make. So I'm just gonna continue eating this. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, you guys need to watch. It's a Buffalo Wild Wings Challenge mukbang by Nikocado Avocado. And the chemistry, like the friendship chemistry is so good in this. I'm like, ugh, the intro. Editing that must have taken forever. So props to you, Nick. I love you so much. Ah! 
<laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. So I had someone um rec oh. <laughs> I had, she doesn't want to be in camera right now. I had someone request that I share with you guys kind of like the books I've been reading. So, I have been doing a lot of Kindle reading. I know I have a lot of books to read that are like in the den. I have so many books. I'm also reading those. I'm just like a reading machine. But I wanted to share with you the last four books that I've read in the last it's been like maybe a week week and a half two weeks around there i read at the water's edge by the way this is kindle so these are the ones that i've read on kindle at the water's edge by harper bliss it is a romance novel about two lesbians i read april shadows by vc andrews i love vc andrews vc andrews is one of the first one of the first it was also jody picolt um jody picolt and vc andrews those were my first two like authors that I fell in love with at actually a kind of young age around 13 and then I read Flight SQA 016 which is also another lesbian romance which there are it is a three-parter and I'm about to read the second part which is called Grounded by A.E. Radley and then I read It Happened to Nancy which is that's the one I finished today by Beatrice Sparks that is a very very sad book it is about a girl she's only 14 and she gets forced into sexual activities and she gets AIDS so it is her diary entries through the whole thing kind of what happened and um I actually read that when I was very very young and I wanted to read it again it's really sad it's heartbreaking like oh it's supposed to be a true story but I'm I'm unsure if it really is so those are the books that I've read recently and I was actually doing a little bit of coloring earlier I was listening to music and I was just getting down and I just decided to color um, I'm making this look unrealistic obviously because that's a tree and it's pink obviously this should be brown and that should be green but I'm trying to you know make it a little bit different if you will I actually finished this one the other night this took me months to do because I started doing it and then I forgot that I was doing it and I just finished it last night I don't know Coloring is fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I know everyone's like, coloring's for kids. Like, honey, no. So what I've been coloring that with has been these. They are the fine point. My face, though. They are the um, ultra fine point Sharpies, which I love. Kind of pricey, but definitely worth it. So this is, like, totally random, but me and my friend have been having a debate whether addiction like drug addiction or whatever is a disease or if it's a choice so i don't want to say my opinion because i don't want no one to be biased or whatever but i want to know your guys's opinion in the comments because i do read the comments here and there do you guys think the actual act of addiction not the act of trying drugs for the first time because obviously that is a choice but do you think finally when addiction is coding your brain, your body, just the way you think, do you guys think that is a choice or do you guys think that is a disease? So I want to know your guys' comments down below and what you guys think. See, me and my friend, we think completely different on this one. So we're having a nice little uh, friendly debate here, which I'm actually kind of have, having fun with it. I love a debate where people are respectful and they don't judge you on your opinion i don't know debates are really fun to me that's just my thing though so i'm gonna go to my community tab and we're gonna do a little q a sesh i'm gonna answer maybe just a couple questions and let's see scrolling i say that every time like you guys know by now okay first question is by brizetta servantes oh my god i know i butchered that i'm so sorry they asked, what are your top five planners and what are they each used for? I don't really have like top five planners because I'm currently not using five planners. I'm only using one. I just use that to log my weight, to log things that I need to do throughout the week or just things that I know I need to do during the day. Next question is from Sweet Light Candy 12 Do you give your pets presents? Oh my god, do I ever. Last year, I went crazy on them. I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them and you can actually go watch that vlog like it was scary how much i spent and 
I, I just love spoiling them, but yeah, I do. Scroll, scroll, scroll your finger gently down your phone. <laughs> Babe, I knew you were gonna love. <laughs> <laughs> what, babe? <laughs> okay. Olivia Fox. <laughs> Olivia Fox asked, How you feel about Becky not wanting to move out of state? I feel like it sucks. It makes me sad. It's upsetting. Because I'd love to try living somewhere else, even if it's just for a year. Because when you rent, that's not like you're renting somewhere for the rest of your life. There are leases and there are contracts for like a year or two years and obviously I want to be able to experience other places but it's like I understand because her family's here and they're all super close and stuff like that. I just feel like we need to compromise and such. So I'm going to do one more question. April Cheval, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, asked, have you ever considered that you feel so hungry because of your insulin resistance? Your blood is stealing your food as soon as you eat it and you're basically starving. So... I don't know if that's a diabetes question. I don't have diabetes. I have been checked. I have been getting a lot of people diagnosing me lately with just the most random things. I'm just like, thank you, doctor. I didn't even have to pay for your service. I'm very grateful. So I'm gonna end the vlog. I know today has been a super, super boring one, but I hope tomorrow is better because tomorrow is Becky's birthday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.